everybody. I haven't had a whole lot of luck with acrylic pouring lately, but there's nothing I'm, I'm not anything, I'm tenacious. Um, so I'm going to try a technique that I've done once and I was very pleased with how it came out. And then I'm going to do a couple of other techniques. Um, see how much time I have today to get some of these done. Um, but I'm hoping to start doing a little bit more of my acrylic work. Now, I do have my base coat on here pretty heavy, but that's okay because I'm going to be using it for two canvases. So what I'm going to do is sort of like a sandwich pour almost, um, where I'm going to pour all my paint on one canvas and then tip another one upside down on top of it and um, see what we get with that. I'm hoping... Since I can't get wing pores the right way, maybe I'll try to get it this way. So I think I'm going to come in here first with um, Grumbacker Persian Blue. It's a color I actually really like, and I'm going to go from corner to corner pretty much. And then I might put just a touch more there. And to that blue, I'm going to add... Just a touch of Van Dyke Brown. And then I'm going to come in here with some um, Soho Diox Dioxazine Violet. Another very pretty color. And now we're going to come in here with I'm out of my golden light magenta, so this is um, this is a deco art um, pink. I think it's called uh, tourmaline. So let me just get a little stir stick here. And I'm going to come in here and try to do just a small bead of pink down here. There we go, that's plenty. And I have never tried this before, but I have a little bit of um, the stone coat uh, gold, the really shiny glitter gold. Well, it's not glitter, but it's, it's a very shiny gold. And I mixed it with a little bit of Floetrol and glue. Now, I've never used this this way, and it's a little bit thin, but I'm going to see what we can get out of it anyway. Because I actually really like this color when I'm working with resin. So now I'm going to try it with this. And then I'm going to come in here with just a touch of metallic green. One shoot, one shot up this center. And I'm going to come in here with um, a little bit of bronze. And then I have this Amsterdam pearl green. And we'll see what this does for the whole mess. Just kind of get up there. So, now that I have my colors, and I'm fairly happy, I might run one more bit of the um, bare blue down there. This is actually a house paint. Um, just give it a little squirt. But I was able to actually get this. I don't know which color it is because it was um, something somebody else had mixed up. and But for 50 cents, I'm like, I'll get it. <laughs> the way I like to spend money on paint, yeah, 50 cents is the perfect price for me. And I'm going to lay this canvas right down on top and push it in. And then I'm going to run my fingers in here so I can get all the paint transferred from one canvas to the other. And I'm going to take my time with this so that I get the best results. So, now, time to move things around here a little bit and make space for, uh, for two canvases being on here instead of one. Um, sorry about my voice, guys. I don't know if it's because I've been crying so much or I've got a cold or what, but uh, my voice is totally shot. Uh, it sounded like a guy's voice this morning, which is kind of scary. Um, but, how do you? 
So now that I've got these kind of all nice and neatly meshed together, Dremel, see if I did any good. So I'm going to pick this up. Very nice. There's still a lot of paint on here, but I have a remedy for that. So some of this excess white paint here, I'm going to just start spreading over and down off the sides so I can get my sides covered. And same thing up here, we'll get some of this excess white off. There we go. The white's a little bit thinner than I usually make it, but I wanted to make sure that it would flow to both canvases. So, I made it a little bit thicker than I normally do. And we'll come in here and just paint some of this off of this side. Now that we've gotten this done, oops, get myself a little paper towel here and clean off my spatula. I love this. Um, silicone spatula. It is the perfect tool for moving paints around. So now that we have this kind of all set, I'm going to come in here with my air gun and see what we can do with this. And I'm going to try to blow it in both directions today. Just a little bit. And I'm hoping to get a little feathering out of this. A little bit. This is actually good for me because I need more practice with my air gun. I'm still trying to learn a lighter touch. So this is a very good exercise for me. Oops. Okay, let's come back in here and let's work on this one. Kind of sticking our wing out here a little bit. And I'm actually so far pretty pleased with this. Up. Oh. Oh, that's not a hair. Or is it? Yeah, I got a hair here. There we go. We got it. Alright, so this was a fairly quick video, and I see a couple areas here that my coverage didn't go all the way over, um, but that's alright, we'll fix all that. Um, I actually kind of really, really like this. I like the purple and pink together, for sure. Um, and, of course, blues and browns go together. A touch of green in there for good luck. And the St. Patrick's Day that we just had yesterday. So, um, I'm actually feeling pretty good because this is the first decent pour I've done in a little while. Um, my resin work has been really good, but my pouring lately has not been so good. So, I'm very happy with this. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'll try to bring you in a little bit for close-up. Pardon my hand. Uh, I thought I have is not very good, but I'm going to try to get you in here so you can see this um, as much as possible. So, again, I'm not the world's best videographer, but I hope you guys are enjoying this. Okay, guys, have a good one, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.